Okay, I'm going to speak louder today because, as always, I'm using my iPad. And maybe this will help. I won't cover the lens much. Finally got my Smith & Wesson model 19-5. See if it'll focus. Uh, I thought these were supposed to be smart devices. So there we go. We're focusing. Model 19-5. Okay, it's unloaded, so I'm gonna close her up. I bought this back in March. I spotted it at the local gun shop. It's in great condition. Um, the 19-5s were made in the mid-80s and the difference between 19-5 and the 19-4 is uh, it no longer has the pinned barrel. Uh, the Model 19 was introduced in the 1950s in collaboration with that great American, Bill Jordan. The man was six foot six and had hands like a bear, a skinny bear. Uh, <laughs> Google him up. It shoots uh, 357 mag, chambered for 357 Magnum. Uh, it's a K frame, and of course, since it's chambered for the 357, it will take 38 special. 38 Special Plus P and nothing else. Uh, the trigger uh, <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> the trigger spur is more aggressive than my newer Smith & Wesson revolvers. It has an adjustable rear sight elevation and windage uh, fixed front sight the newer models have a pinned front sight so you can take that off and replace it with I don't know what I put orange paint in there it's a tack driver this is a, uh, in single action we, we know it's unloaded okay everybody stay calm uh, if you just touch the <laughs> You didn't see my finger move, did you? And then in double action, I'm getting an average of nine pounds um, on my Lyman digital trigger gauge. So, you can see on both sides, adjusting for the sun which isn't helping much because we're in shade right now over here. And there aren't any MIM parts. There isn't a Hillary hole. It has a full length guide rod. Uh, Bill Jordan called this the perfect law enforcement. Well, I don't know where the lens is in the back of this iPad. Perfect law enforcement revolver, uh, which at the time, I guess, was all they were using. Um, maybe some 1911s. Uh, maybe some AK-47s. Who knows? And so the story behind this is I saw the local gun shop. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted a pistol, this or a revolver, pistol revolver, GAT. And if I wanted a GAT this big, so I called up Junior and I said, would you like this? And I sent him a picture and he said, sure. So I bought it with him as a backup in case I didn't like it when I got home. Had buyer's remorse when I got home and he was all excited. And I had seller's remorse the second I handed it to him. And uh, I've been trying to get it back ever since with uh, the Wuhan cooties, he's been going into survivalist mode. And he wanted a, a Ruger uh, 22. 
uh, the Mark III, the Volkortsen and tandem cross parts, fully fully tandem crossed and Volkortsenized. And I traded that and a, th and a thousand rounds of 22 long rifle for this. And since I haven't shot the Ruger in years, um, it worked out for both of us. He's now set for pandemic squirrel eating. And uh, I don't know what else he would do with it. <laughs> Target shooting. At that point, I would just get a BB gun. Um, and that's it. it. It's something that I've, I've been trying to get back off of him. I thought I was going to have to buy a new one with the, the ugly hole. The grips are in great shape. They're really, really wide. This is a big piece of timber. Um, but I guess, you know, my index finger's all the way up top. I can't get it up any further than that, so I guess it, I'm, I'm not reaching. It, it's not making my finger reach too long. Although coming in, uh, I'm almost that my knuckle joint is touching the, the this side of the trigger, and but no, it, it, once again, we are unloaded. The, the trigger pull is so nice, and I, I shot it before I bought it. Junior shot it once, uh, single action, and I have to wait till tomorrow for the range to open to shoot it again. So I just thought I would share my happy, happy joy, joy with anyone who would care about such a thing. Uh, the muzzle crown is nice. This is heavy. Uh, I figured 10 pounds, 10 pounds, <laughs> two pounds, six ounces, seven ounces, something like that. Uh, Lockup's nice and tight. And all, I've had the side plate off when I first bought it. And when I got it back from Junior, because who knows, he doesn't take things apart, but I'm just OCD like that. And um, wanted to make sure everything was honky-dory inside still. It is, and it's super clean inside. So there you go. Now I have to do is just get a dirty Harry rig and tell people it's a 44 Magnum. Uh, I've, I've, I've shot 44 Magnum before, and it, it's not any fun for me. I mean, it's okay for, for a few laughs, but uh, I'd rather have 357. And there you go. Have a good day.